Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Chris Reyes and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since the last time I've done a recording. As you know, life is busy. Uh, I had a moment, I think that this would be beneficial to share for people in the same boat as me, who happens to be running on an Apple ecosystem. So if you're looking to supercharge your Excel experience, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of Microsoft's Copilot for Excel. It is the AI powered assistant that's transforming the way we interact with spreadsheets and among many other things. Whether you're seasoned data analysts or just getting started, Copilot for Excel is designed to make your work easier, faster, and more intuitive. And the best part, it's not just for Windows users. That's right. Even as an Apple product enthusiast like myself, you can harness the power of Copilot for Excel on your Mac. So join me on this quick video as we explore the innovative features and capabilities that Copilot brings to the table. This specific YouTube video will focus on how to enable Copilot for Excel in an Apple ecosystem, and we'll go through a few examples of what its capabilities are. So let's get started. So here we are on Excel for Apple. Right, so if we take a look at this particular tool, you'll notice that I have already the Copilot for Finance, and this is for Excel. And to enable this is actually pretty straightforward. So right, when you first start, it's not enabled. Number two, uh, it is a preview, uh, but you can see where you can start utilizing and see what it can do to help you out. So the first thing to enable that is click on the add-ins component as you click add-ins, you'll see I already have a copilot. There's a few add-ins that's also available, but if you click more add-ins and it'll take you to the office add-in store. And what I'll do is just search for copilot. And here you will find the copilot for finance for Microsoft Excel. Again, it's an AI assistant for finance professionals. So you go ahead and click add uh, at that point, it will then give you this opportunity to click here. Now, if you have two sets of data, one of the great examples, which I'll showcase you here, uh, showcase here in a minute, is if you have two separate spreadsheets that you want to combine and possibly find any correlation or even help you summarize the data. So from this example, if I click on Copilot for finance, it will give me a few things right now. What's available is reconcile data. So if you have two sets of spreadsheets, you can go ahead and reconcile that data and compare the two sheets. Uh, there are options here in the future, which is coming soon uh, on this version of Excel in Apple or Mac. Uh, this is the option to get started. But you can, if you want to get familiar with it, it will provide you some sample data. So if you click on preview with sample data, I will go ahead and click that. So you'll notice it's going to give me two sheets. One is a demo trip budget or trip budget, and the other one is a bank statement. So if I want to reconcile the data, I can go ahead and just click this reconcile data here. And from here, it's going to give me an option. So let me move my face out of the way so you can actually see a little bit more information. So you'll notice that there are two sheets. Um, so for example, um, I will choose whatever sheet that I'm working on and uh, which table. So it needs to be a table uh, between the sheets for you to compare in this case. Uh, so it, it, it identified the two sheets I have and the two tables I have along with it. So I'm going to keep it as this for now, just so you can, so, so that I can just show you how this all works out. So when I click on next, what it's going to do is going to take all that information. It's going to reconcile and it's going to find, uh, uh, something that would, uh, have any correlation between the two. And again, you can play along with this further. Uh, so right now I'm just going to pick up the date, the category, the budget and so forth. And if you like it, you can go ahead and keep it. You can also regenerate if you have bigger data sets, uh, maybe it, it needs a little bit more information. Uh, you can do so in this case, I'm okay with this one. It gives me the budget amount and the amount, the category, the transaction category and expenditure uh, category. And then of course the date or the transaction date. Um, I'm going to keep it. I'm okay with that and how I want to reconcile the data or consolidate the data, however you want to see it. And I'm going to keep the suggestion. 
You can add additional columns too, if you'd like. And again, for the demo purpose of how to even enable this and kind of play around with it, I'm going to go ahead and keep it as is. And I will go ahead and click next here. So it's going to go ahead and uh, reconcile that report all into one view. Uh, and then it's going to give me a summary of the report as well. So summary is going to give you what is the data telling you in a, in a sense, in a way that you would understand, uh, not from just looking at numbers, uh, especially if you need to present this to somebody that, uh, instead of them trying to figure out what you're trying to say, uh, the finance copilot for uh, finance in Excel is going to do that summary for you. So in this case is going to give me, you know, out of all the reconciled transactions, 13 sets are perfectly matched because you're reconciling these transactions from the demo trip budget and the demo bank statement have identical transactions amounts categorized under the same date and exponential category and so forth. So you'll see that there's several viewpoints here that's going to give you some insights as well. There are four sets of potentially matched transactions, uh, identified 14 sets of transactions with discrepancies and so forth and gives you some examples there as well. So I can go ahead and either save this as a PDF or regenerate, kind of go back to take, you know, give it another shot. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to leave it as is. Um, and in addition to that, either I can just go ahead and, you know, attach this to an email uh, along with the summary. Of course, you want to make sure that's accurate as well. You don't want to just go ahead and, you know, take it as is, right? So you want to verify and confirm that the summary is good, is exactly what you're trying to portray or paint the picture. In this case, I'm okay for it right now. I can go ahead and include the summary in the report. So right now there's no summary of that. Typically you would, you know, save it as a PDF and make an attachment to or add it as an attachment uh, separately, or you can include the summary in the report. So if I click on this right here, it's going to give me that summary uh, within the reconciliation report within that new sheet, uh, then, you know, whoever you're sending it, you, you want to let them know like, Hey, this is what the data is telling us. Here's the information. Here's the uh, bullet points for that. And that's pretty much it. So super exciting. Again, play around with the information. You can add your own sheets and see how well it does for the reconciliation, uh, component and it's going to save you time. So the idea of Copilot is allowing you to save some time rather than trying to do all this work mainly, especially if you live within the spreadsheets or you're doing a quick analysis within the two data sets and reconcile. And again, there's more features that come in. Uh, as far as I know, it right now is against a preview. So this is pretty exciting to kind of play around. It is available right now for public preview. So enjoy playing with Copilot in Excel. There's a lot of things are happening with the Copilot. You hear it all the time now. So super, super exciting. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. And if you don't want to miss future uh, recordings and, and, and tips, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Thank you, everyone, and take care.